all week, we are highlighting the women in our communities that are making a difference when it comes to athletics and sports. And today, sticking with that theme of the Women's World Cup, we're talking soccer. Michelle Ledka is in studio with us this morning and has more on a local organization that really is at the forefront of equality in the sport. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Liz. That is so correct. The Rain FC has been a soccer staple in our community for seven years, something that many sports fans may take for granted. But really, the organization and players have been striving for the success that they are finally seeing, and it's making a difference in our own backyards and across the country. Y'all going to the game? For almost 60 years, Step on up. fans have flocked to Cheney Stadium to take in America's pastime. There you go, ma'am. But this year, hey, hey, hey. there's more to cheer for than just baseball. The historic venue is now home to the Rain FC. We all cheer for Rain. One of nine clubs in the National Women's Soccer League. Walking by all the trumpets, the fireworks and stuff, I'm like, dang, we made it. <laughs> the fanfare in Tacoma is a welcome sight for Rain FC players Beverly Yanez and Lauren Barnes. If you asked me seven years ago if I'd be playing soccer, I would have just left. It's a reality that seemed unlikely after both players were left without a team when the previous league folded in 2012. I actually will never forget that feeling. Um, it's something that I still carry with me today. At the time, I was just like pretty much in terms of soccer, it was like at an all-time low. I was devastated. I wasn't devastated because I was waking up and no longer getting paid for what I love to do. I was devastated from the fact that I felt like it was taken from me. But this time around, things are different. The league has already outlasted its two predecessors combined. And the rain is leading the charge. We actually have an opportunity. Like it's actually feasible for for Rain FC to be the best women's soccer team in the world. When's your game? Rain FC Associate General Manager Bryn Baker believes in the value of women's soccer in America. Seeing women and women athletes in these positions and getting airtime, I think, is super important in just how women are perceived throughout the world. So, can you walk me through what the players need to do? She uses her role as a vessel for the mission of the organization. Our players are not playing soccer because they're making a million dollars and because they can play for 10 years and retire and live an like, incredibly lavish life. They are playing soccer in this league because they are paving the way for people to come behind them. Like any young league, the NWSL has had to find ways to survive and grow. Good touch, great pace. Now in its seventh season, it's all about sustainability. Good, better shape. U.S. soccer pays the salaries of the national team players like Megan Rapino. Only world class! While the clubs provide housing and transportation for their players. Steph, a little more hook on it. That allows the $16,000 minimum salary to stretch as far as it can. It's really challenging, and I think like every day Day, I go to sleep and I'm like, man, like the players deserve better. Oh, yeah, we, we do deserve this. We should have this, but we've done we've done so much with so limited resources for so long that sometimes you forget like a drip or a squirt. squirt. Like the majority of her teammates, Lauren supplements her income playing overseas in the off season. Others, like Beverly, have side coaching businesses. We care, we grind. We, we do what we need to do, and it doesn't matter what that takes, and it doesn't matter what, you know, what that looks like, and it's, you know, I, I truly believe that builds character. There you go. It's that mindset that's allowed the rain to trailblaze the game here in the U.S. We want to be involved. We want to be here. We want to play. Um, we want to show other kids that what it's like to be at this level. It's not just the players who believe this, but the entire organization. There is one big blaring reason I've been here for seven years. I don't want to leave. It's not just having the best soccer players on the field, it's having the best front office, the best marketing team, and the best promotions, and like all of that goes into being the best soccer team on the planet, which is what we want to be. That goal is what led the club to make the tough decision to move the team south. We made a really difficult choice to, to move the team to Tacoma. Uh, because of the, the increased experience we could provide fans and uh, the better experience we could provide players. The response we got from the crowd was just like incredible and I just knew I'm like this is going to be great. The players now have access to a better field and quality training facilities, but the biggest upgrade 
is giving them a more stable platform to make the impact they all strive for. Hi, how are you? Me being able to have this foundation and all these resources, it would be so wrong of me not to give it back. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. In every game that I play, every training I'm at, I hope to inspire somebody to continue to chase their dreams. Thank you so much for coming. We're pioneers for the women's game. Such an amazing group of women and men throughout that entire organization. I cannot say enough good things about all of them. And if the experience isn't proof enough when it comes to their move to Tacoma, in the team's first home match of the season at Cheney Stadium, they already surpassed their record attendance, which was set at a match at Memorial Stadium in Seattle back in 2016. Guys. Michelle, thank you.